BBC News presents The Rival to the Bible by Roger Bolton. What is probably the oldest known Bible is being digitized, reuniting its scattered parts for the first time since its discovery 160 years ago. It is markedly different from its modern equivalent. What's left out? The world's oldest surviving Bible is in bits. For 1,500 years, the Codex Sinaiticus lay undisturbed in a Sinai monastery until it was found, or stolen as the monks say, in 1844 and split between Egypt, Russia, Germany, and Britain. Now these different parts are to be united online and from next July, anyone anywhere in the world with internet access will be able to view the complete text and read a translation. For those who believe the Bible is the inerrant, unaltered Word of God, there will be some very uncomfortable questions to answer. It shows there have been thousands of alterations to today's Bible. It shows there have been thousands of alterations to today's Bible. The Codex, probably the oldest Bible we have, also has books which are missing from the authorized version that most Christians are familiar with today and it does not have crucial verses relating to the resurrection. Anti-Semitic Writings The fact this book has survived at all is a miracle. Before its discovery in the early 19th century by the Indiana Jones of his day, it remained hidden in St. Catherine's Monastery since at least the 4th century. It survived because the desert air is ideal for preservation and because the monastery on a Christian island in a Muslim sea remained untouched, its walls unconquered. Today, 30 mainly Greek Orthodox monks dedicated to prayer worship there, helped as in ages past by the Muslim Bedouin. For this place is holy to three religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. A land where you can still see the burning bush where God spoke to Moses, as the article claims. The monastery itself has the greatest library of early manuscripts outside the Vatican, some 33,000 and a collection of icons second to none. Not surprisingly, it is now a world heritage site and has been called a veritable ark bringing spiritual treasures safely through the turbulent centuries. In many people's eyes, the greatest treasure is the Codex, written around the time of the first century Emperor Constantine. When the different parts are digitally united, next year in a one million pound project, anyone will be able to compare and contrast the Codex and the modern Bible. Firstly, the Codex contains two extra books in the New Testament. One is the little-known Shepherd of Hermes, written in Rome in the 2nd century. The other, the Epistle of Barnabas, this goes out of its way to claim that it was the Jews, it was the Jews, not the Romans, who killed Jesus, as the article claims, and is full of anti-Semitic kindling ready to be lit. His blood be upon us, Barnabas has the Jews cry. Discrepancies had this remained in subsequent versions, the suffering of Jews in the subsequent centuries would, if possible, have been even worse, says the distinguished New Testament scholar, Professor Bart Ehrman. And although many of the other alterations and differences are minor, these may take some explaining for those who believe every word comes from God. Faced with differing texts, which is the truly authentic one? Mr. Ehrman was a born-again Bible-believing evangelical until he read the original Greek texts and noticed some discrepancies. The Bible we now use can't be the inerrant word of God, he says, since what we have are the sometimes mistaken words copied by fallible scribes. Quote, when people ask me if the Bible is the word of God, I answer, which Bible? End quote. The Codex and other early manuscripts omit some mentions of the ascensions of Jesus into heaven and key references to the resurrection which the Archbishop of Canterbury has said is essential for Christian belief. 
other differences concern how Jesus behaved. In one passage of the Codex, Jesus is said to be very angry as he healed a leper, whereas the modern text records him as healing with compassion. Also missing is the story of the woman taken in adultery and about to be stoned until Jesus rebuked the Pharisees, a Jewish, Jewish sect, inviting anyone without sin to cast the first stone. So all these things are missing that the Christians always uh, promote so avidly today. Continuing, nor are there words of forgiveness from the cross. Jesus does not say, Father, forgive me, for they know not what they do. He does not say this. Jesus does not say, Father, forgive me, for they know not what they do. Fundamentalists who believe every word in the Bible is true may find these differences unsettling. But the picture is complicated. Some argue that another early Bible, the Codex Vaticanus, is in fact older. And there are other earlier texts of almost all the books in the Bible, though none pulled together into a single volume. Many Christians have long accepted that while the Bible is the authoritative word of God, it is not inerrant. Human hands always make mistakes. It should be regarded as a living text, something constantly changing as generations and generations tries to understand the mind of God, says David Parker, Christian working on digitizing the Codex. Others may take it as more evidence that the Bible is the word of man, not God. I'd like to personally conclude this by inviting you all to abandon the obvious, clear corruption, meaning the Bible and Christianity and all other false doctrines and religions, and to accept Islam by worshipping Allah alone as every single prophet taught, from Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Joseph, David, Solomon, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Peace be upon all of them. And I also invite you to read and accept the only preserved revelation from God, Allah, today. And that is the Qur'an. And I'll leave you from some words of Allah regarding Jesus. Allah said about Jesus that he said, Verily, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him alone. That is the straight path, meaning Allah's religion of Islamic monotheism, which he did ordain for all of his prophets. And Allah says in what means, and remember, when Allah will say on the day of resurrection, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to men, worship me and my mother as two gods besides Allah? He will say, glory be to you. It was not for me to say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would surely have known it. You know what is in my inner self, though I do not know what is in yours. Truly, you, only you, are the all-knower of all that is hidden and unseen. And Allah says, in what means, and they say, the most beneficent Allah has begotten a son. Indeed, you have brought forth a terrible evil thing, whereby the heavens are almost torn, and the earth is split asunder, and the mountains fall in ruins, that they ascribe a son to the most beneficent Allah. But it is not suitable for the majesty of the most beneficent Allah that he should beget a son, or offspring, or children. There is none in the heavens and the earth but comes on to the most beneficent Allah as a slave. And Allah says in what means, O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, do not exceed the limits in your religion, nor say of Allah anything but the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah and his word be and he was, which he bestowed on Mary and a spirit created by him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Say not three or trinity, desist. Cease, it is better for you, for Allah is only one God. Glory be to him, far exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on the earth. And Allah is all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. And Allah says in what means, Verily the likeness of Jesus, before Allah is the likeness of Adam, he created him from dust. Then he said to him, Be, and he was. And Allah says in what means, that he, Jesus said, Verily I am a slave of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. And Allah says in what means, The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. His mother was a siddiqah, meaning she believed in the words of Allah and his books. They both used to eat food as any other human being, while Allah does not eat. Look how we make the ayat clear to them, yet look how they are deluded away from the truth. And Allah says in what means, And because of their saying, meaning the saying of the Jews, they say in boast, we killed Messiah, the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. But they killed him not, nor crucified him, 
But the resemblance of Jesus was put over another man, and they killed that man. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture. For surely they killed him not. And Allah says in what means, Say, O Muhammad, O people of the scripture, meaning the Christians and the Jews, come to a word that is just between us and you, that we worship none but Allah and that we associate no partners with him, and that none of us shall take others as lords besides Allah. Then if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims.